Hi everyone, it's Vicky here with a new art journal today. So I had this idea of creating a treasure map today and uh, when I want to print out images from the computer just because I post them on my YouTube channel I want them to be royalty free so I always choose to download my images from graphic stock. So I went online, signed in and uh, I looked for uh, vintage maps. So the one I chose to work with is the second one. If you click on it, you get two different options of downloadable files. I chose to download JPEG and once the image was on my computer, I opened it with my Photoshop, resized it and I also made the sea monster and the boat smaller as well as uh, changed their placement. Now Graphic Stock is sponsoring this video today with a gift for you. So if you want to get 7 days free trial where you can download 140 pieces of royalty free content then click on the link that is down below in the description area. So now that I have my map printed out I am going to add a little bit of uh, blue. I'm just tinting uh, the paper at the moment. Nothing has to be perfect at this stage because I am going to do lots of things on top. So I am uh, using my blending tool and I am applying distress ink and that's a uh, tumbled glass. And now I am going to repeat the same process but this time with uh, vintage photo. You will not get a perfect result since this is just a print paper and it's not meant to be used with distress inks and blending tool. But this is not a problem at this stage. After all, I want this to be to look old and uh, imperfect. Now to make your map look more old and uh, vintage, you can uh, use this uh, product which is by Ranger and that's called Distress Collage Medium Vintage which is uh, pretty much the same thing as the multi-medium uh, mat that I usually work with uh, but it is tinted. I believe that it has vintage photo inside. Now if you don't have this product you can always just use your blending tool with vintage photo and uh, then cover it up with uh, your matte medium. Uh, it is going to smudge a little bit but this is exactly what you want. So at this stage I'm uh, not only adding uh, some uh, vintage looking uh, effect on top of my paper but at the same time I'm sealing down the page. Now everything is dry and I have actually used my heat gun to speed up the drying process and all I am doing is just tearing off the top and the bottom of my map so that it looks more old. With my paper trimmer I'm going to cut out a part of uh, the map and that's because I don't want the map to be at the center of my layout. I always like my elements to go off uh, one side because I find this to be more interesting to the eye. So anyway I am now trying to find the middle of uh, my layout and I am creasing the fold there. and. Um, I am going to use my paper trimmer to cut the map in half because this way it is going to be easier for me to stick on the pages. This way I will not add too much bulk at the fold of my book and I will be able to open and close it easily. And now as I am doing that, just to let you know that you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today, including links to the images that I have printed out just below in the description area as well as on my blog. Now I am going to add a little bit of a vintage photo distress ink at the back of uh, the map and that's because I am going to fold it and uh, to fold it up and I don't want uh, the back to be totally white. So I'm just uh, adding a little bit there and now I am going to use uh, just a pencil to help me roll the map. 
this is a detail that is going to add a dimension and a texture on my page but uh, you will see that uh, this is going to end up uh, flat uh, but you still get the effect if that was a canvas, a mixed media canvas, you would be able to leave it as it is now, rolled up. But since this is going to be inside the book, you have to flatten up everything. And before I stick it down on my pages, I am going to use uh, black acrylic paint and cover up the background. This is going to give a nice and dramatic look on my map and it's going to frame the map nicely. So I am going to use black suit and this is uh, distress paint, but you can uh, pretty much use any acrylic paint that you have. I'm not going to cover up the whole two pages. I'm just going all around, making sure that uh, I am covering up the, um, the area that is going to show. And now it's time to stick everything down. I am using my matte medium as a glue, but notice how I am not applying the glue all the way to the edges because I want to keep the distressed look that I get and uh, the dimension from the tiered off uh, edges. And this is where I remember that I had this compass rose. This uh, stamp comes from uh, a Tim Holtz uh, stamp set from his Blueprint collection. And I am going to stamp it with uh, archival ink, that's sepia. And I'm going to stamp it uh, picking out from the rolled up edge of the map. You can use your markers or any other favorite medium, like acrylic paints or anything, to, co to color the rose. But uh, instead, I decided to go ahead and do some paper piecing, just because I love it. Uh, so I am going to stamp again this uh, compass rose on a scrap piece of paper. I am going to color it with my Distress ink, and that's Barn Door. I'm just going to apply a little bit of color at the center and then I'm going to use my scissors to cut it out and see, stick it down on my layout. As always, I am going to do some shading with my big brush markers. Uh, notice how I'm not uh, using vibrant colors, but I rather want to keep everything uh, vintage looking and kind of dirty. And uh, once I am happy with the shading, I am going to go ahead and use my white gel pen. I know that since this is an old map, it shouldn't have uh, white on top, but I just can't stay away from my white gel pen and it's kind of uh, like my signature or something. So I am going uh, to use it again. And after all, there is no art general police out there, so just uh, use what pleases you and uh, have fun while you are making your projects.
and now I am going to embellish them up by adding uh, little elements. And uh, first of all, I am starting with this anchor. This comes from a Simon's stamp, uh, stamp set. I am going to stamp it with black archival ink. And since I didn't have more images that I wanted to, I went online on graphic stock and I printed out three more images, which uh, I have um, cut out with my scissors. So here they are. I think they are so cute. So anyway, I am going to use the scissors for that. And I also needed uh, the X mark for the treasure. And uh, for that, I am going to use a die cut to cut out an X out of a red uh, cardstock. So now that I have all the elements ready, I am going to use my white gel pen and uh, draw the path for uh, the treasure and then stick everything down with my matte medium. And to finish it off, I am adding some highlights with my gel pen again, just because I can. So all that's left to do is to add the quote. I am going to add my quote at uh, the right bottom corner of my layout, and it's going to say, not all treasure is silver and gold. So I had this idea to have the word silver in silver letters and the word uh, gold in gold letters. And just because I didn't have uh, ready cardstock, I am creating my own with my um, embossing powders. So here is a scrap piece of uh, gold paper now. And I'm going to repeat the exact same process with my silver embossing powder. And then I'm going to use both those scraps to cut out the letters and stick them down on my layout. And that was the layout for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of my project today. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more projects that I have created a while back. Thank you all for watching!